Hello artistic family, welcome back once again to Shannon Gibson Art and Designs and to one of my many adventures. So for those of you who are part of um, the artistic family, you guys are well aware that I love neutral metallics, I love vibrance and shimmer and shine, and I've been experimenting with silicone as well as Floetrol throughout the last several months, silicone most recently within the last week or so and I've done several different techniques and what I like to do guys when I try a new product of any kind whether it's a paint, an additive, more pouring medium is to experiment and explore, play around to see how the paints work together, how they blend, um, what type of effects or special effects they create and even though I'm using the same color palette pretty well minus a few different colors um, silver, the bronze, etc. Um, and I've used them forever. Every time I use all of my paints or any of my paints in a different way, guys, I like to pay attention to how they react. So I can add that to my toolbox and, you know, enhance my pores when I want and have the, that experience and skills. So if you're wondering why, uh, you're seeing these same colors over and over again in the last few weeks. That's why I have mentioned it before But for those of you who are new um, yes, I am addicted to neutral metallics and and um, a Black base for sure. However, I do change it up quite often. I've done a variety of things I have many playlists definitely go check them out and I have um, acrylic pouring compilations as well in case you guys are looking to binge watch some of my videos. What I've learned guys throughout my um, experimenting so far is that this gorgeous rich copper by Artist Loft, okay, and the brands matter. So with this brand, okay, and I've used probably two or three other different coppers by uh, Folk Art and Craftsmart, this is my favorite and it is extremely cell reactive. Um, even without Floetrol or silicone, because again, those are very new to my arsenal. But what it does do is it creates this gorgeous lacing and it's done it in all of the pores I've done so far. So this is a testing canvas. I'm doing a, it's a 10 by 20 and I'm gonna do an acrylic pour painting guys. And then what I think I'm going to do is do a straw blowout. And that's just going to enhance the lacing and stretch it out. I'm not stretching too much on the canvas. I want it to be very minimal, sophisticated, and elegant. And uh, I'm excited to get started. So let's get going. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do is just take the base color. And again, all the details, guys, for all my pores are always listed in the detail description. And I try to give you guys the best... Um, explanation for the consistency so I'll say like slight mound mound thick thick like a ring pour etc I try to do my best but if you watch me regularly I often show you guys and do a quick explanation and I have tutorials as well so definitely take a look at my playlist guys um, especially if you are new so this is super thin extremely thin straight stream probably just a tad like a few drops thicker than what I would do for my pearl pores which is the thinnest consistency I use. Um, so what I want to do is lay a puddle. I don't want to tilt it completely off the canvas. I want to leave just a little, little, little bit of wiggle room just to stretch out um, the pour that I'm going to do. And then I will add to it. Okay. And I also like to do this as well when I'm painting this way, guys. That way I don't waste because although I've come up with my own painting calculator, so I should know how much paint to put on the canvas, a lot of times I forget. Sometimes I go by memory. And I want a lot of copper. And yes, it's bossy, but lately I've been wanting it to be very bossy. Okay, I'm going to do two layers. I want this minimal. This is a one ounce solo cup. 
tiny bit of gold. That's bossy as well. This 24 karat deco earned extreme sheen gold definitely goes a long way. I don't need a whole lot of it, but I want a bit of that on top of the copper because my goodness, that copper and gold, those colors look gorgeous together. Okay, so that's all of the paint that I am using. And what my plan is, guys, is just kind of do somewhat of an S movement. You guys know I love that. So how much silicone do I have in the cup? I have about three drops uh, and they're in all of my colors except for the base. So what I'm going to do now guys is just stretch this out a bit. Okay. Don't want to lose too much of it. I want it minimal but I don't want it too minimal. I'm loving that already. Oh my. And so you see why I did that with the base, guys? There's always a rationale. There's always a method to my madness, whether you're aware of it or not. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a bit more here. And then this way, when I blow it out, I don't have... Anything getting wonky. Okay, just going to take my droppings, clean up a few sections. Go back down here just a bit. Sugars. We'll just stretch this down a bit more. Go over. Down. Oh my gosh, I don't think I'm going to even have to blow. So just a quick torch, and then I'm just going to blow in a few areas. And stretch this copper down just a bit more. Love the pattern. Love, love, love the pattern in the movement in this. Gorgeous. Wow. Okay, let's come back this way for a sec here, guys. And again, you see that's why I added in the black in the center, how that breaks everything up there. You can see some gold lacing and some Copper starting up there in the corner. Nothing is getting wonky. This is working out perfectly. Perfectly. This is actually gorgeous, guys. I don't even feel the need to do anything to it, but I'm going to. So, this section is beautiful. Okay? I'm probably just going to blow a tiny bit there. Um, again, I don't want to blow too much because it's just absolutely gorgeous, guys. Absolutely. It's just so beautiful. I mean, there's really nowhere for me to blow, but it's creating... of those wispies, kind of like a Dutch pour, which I will be getting into um, in the future, guys. I did try one when I first started, and I had no success with my consistency, but I'm quite confident that I will now. It's just I've had so much going on, guys. I've been so busy, and uh, I haven't had time to really play around. I've been exploring with different things. Um, I really don't feel the need to blow anymore, guys. But you see what's happening when I do. Absolutely 
gorgeous. I'm just so ever lightly doing it in certain spots. Oh my gosh. It's just, oh. oh. Like knew that was coming, didn't you? Yeah, guys, I, I really don't think I need to blow. You guys can let me know down in the comments if there's some sections that you thought I should have blew, but... Uh, I just love it. I love it the way it is, and I don't want to ruin anything, and I love the pattern. As I continue to blow and say I don't need to blow. <laughs> wow. Shoulder popping up. You see how I blow and I just pulse it, and then all that gorgeous yumminess is coming up at the top. I really don't want to touch anything else. I just want to stretch out just a tiny bit if I can. All right, guys, this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys in for a close-up. Look at the lacing. Oh, and that gorgeous wispiness, which I'm in love with. Love, love, love. And you can see there, which is the gold, but appears to be like more of a bronze. Nice, gorgeous lacing there around the copper. Webby look here. Oh my gosh, there's so many favorite parts about this. These is gorgeous. Lots of lacing here. You guys will see a lot better in the close-up. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about it because you guys know I like to do that. I love to give little reviews and I think that they're helpful um, for you guys as well, because then you kind of get into my mind a little bit and understand the rationale and why I do what I do and etc. But it's minimal ish. <laughs> um, you know, I'm getting better. Uh, I have my calculator, like I said, but I don't always use it. And even then I can just get carried away as I am layering. And I think I had just a little bit too much, I think on the canvas. Um, but it didn't affect anything. I just wanted, you know, a little bit less. I want to be a little bit more minimal, but it doesn't matter. This is absolutely gorgeous. And that copper and black, I cannot say enough. I mean, just those two colors alone creates a stunning piece. But as you guys can see here, there are multiple gorgeous effects. And this section right here is my fave. You guys let me know if you love this section too down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please help support the channel and my art journey with a thumbs up. Definitely comment. I want to hear more from you guys. And uh, if you have suggestions or there's a pour I did, you want me to do it again in a different color, anything at all. I would love to hear and learn with you guys and I want to grow and learn with you guys as well. So until next time, I will see you in the next 